everybody. I'm here today to talk to you about a Canon PIXMA TR4500 printer that is not responding. I'll be going over some easy fixes in this simplistic tutorial. Let's get right into the video. If you have a Canon PIXMA TR4500 series printer and it's not responding at all, this is the video for you. I'll be going over seven simple solutions and hopefully one of them will work for you. Let's get right into the video. The first solution, the easiest one by far, number one is to turn it off and on. So go and press the power button, turn it off, turn it back on. Very, very simple. Often Sometimes this will fix many of the common glitches, malfunctions, and errors that are common on technological products. Just turn the product off, turn it back on. And you can pretty much use this advice for any technological device that you own nowadays. Turn it off, turn it back on. In fact, it's good to do this once every month anyways. Even if you always use your printer or you always use your phone or you always use whatever technological product you can imagine, just power it down and power it back on like once a month, once every two months, just to keep it running smoothly, keep the catch cleared and stuff like that, okay? The second solution, if number one doesn't work, you're gonna move on to number two and so forth. I'm starting with the easiest ones, working my way to the harder ones. So start with the easy, easy, solution and then work your way down if you need to so if number one doesn't work which is the on and off button you're gonna move on to number two which is unplug it for a minute and then plug it back in when you unplug it for a minute it drains the internal power reservoir of the printer and basically will you know erase any malfunctions glitches or errors that are stored in it so unplug it for a minute plug it back in it's like a hard reset on uh, on a phone if you can imagine it's sort of a, sort of like that if that doesn't work move on to number Number three which is just give it some time you know it's a technological device they glitch sometimes they're delayed so just give it some time so literally you know like I would recommend that you just walk away for half an hour and come back later because sometimes they just need a little bit of time to sort of um, figure out what's going on and then they will solve their own problem. So oftentimes it's good to be patient, walk away for half an hour, go do something else, come back, see if the problem has solved itself. Sometimes, you know, Wi-Fi goes down, you just leave it alone and it just comes back up by itself. Sometimes computers freeze, you just leave it alone and they just start working again by themselves. So this is no different, just give it some time, walk away and come back to it. If that doesn't work, move on to number four, which is to open and close the secondary door to get the printer heads moving and see if they move. So here's your primary door right here that holds the paper. The secondary door is what houses the ink cartridges and the printer heads. When you open this, and when it's plugged in and powered on, the printer heads will move to the center because it thinks that you want to inspect the ink cartridges. You want to see if they're moving. If they're moving, that's a good thing because it means that the printer is responding in some way, shape or form. It's not completely frozen. If you open this door, if it's plugged in and you open this door and they don't move, they stay there, then that's a little bit more problematic because the entire printer is not responding, not just the functionality of it, the entire printer uh, interface completely completely is not responding, even on the back end with regards to the printer heads and the ink cartridges having to move to the center. The only reason mine aren't moving right now is because my printer's unplugged, obviously, just so you know. Okay, so that was number four, open and close the secondary door, see if the um, printer heads and ink cartridges move towards the middle. You can listen for it or you can actually see them moving when the door's open. If that doesn't work or if it doesn't make a difference, move on to number five which is to make sure that you have the right printer driver. Maybe you're trying to print from your computer and your printer's not responding, right? You gotta make sure you have the right printer driver. Drivers go out of date, they need to be updated. And there are, there's like, I, 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 there's so many drivers. There's like a different driver for each product that can connect to your computer, I believe. Um, at least for the most part, I think every product uses a different driver. So you wanna make sure that you have the right driver for your printer. If it's not working and you recently updated your computer, maybe it has something to do with the update on your computer and the driver not working. So take a look at the driver, see if it's up to date, see if it's the right driver, and just you know think about whether or not anything was updated on your computer or your smartphone recently, because that actually might be the cause. That actually might be the cause instead of the printer itself. Self. So that's number five. Look at the driver or the updates on your computer or your smartphone with regards to the driver for the printer or the updates that might have something to do with the printer connectivity. Okay. If that doesn't work, move on to number six, which is 
Test out different functions. So if your printer's not responding, right, you want to test out different functions. You know, these printers, the TR4500 series by the Canon PIXMA line, so the Canon PIXMA TR4500 series of printers, which is a whole bunch of printers, they have different functions. You can copy, you can scan, you can fax, you can go to the setup setup or settings menu, okay? You want to go ahead and test each, each of these functions. See if one of them works. Because maybe you can't print, maybe you can't scan, Right, because those have to do with connecting to your phone or your computer or your tablet or your other device. But maybe you can uh, copy because copying is done solely on the printer. If you can copy, then your printer is responding. It's a connectivity issue. So you want to take a look at the different functions. That's number six to sort of see, you know, if, if you can narrow it down. Last but not least is number seven, which is check on your wireless network. Is your wireless network down? These printers rely heavily on your Wi-Fi connection and your wireless network. If your Wi-Fi connection or your wireless network is down, it's not going to be able to do what it needs to do for the most part, other than probably copy and deal with the settings menu. So you want to take a look at whether your wireless network is being problematic on your other devices. And if you really want to be safe, just unplug your router and modem for a minute and plug them back in. Like I said, it's always good to do these things anyways on a somewhat regular basis. So just unplug them both for a minute, your router and your wireless modem so your 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 wireless router um and you're also your your like your internet modem unplug them for a minute and plug them back in and see if that fixes the problem that's it hopefully one of these works for you if you like this video please be sure to give it a thumbs up let me know what you think down below as a comment and of course be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one and that's all i have for you today thanks for watching